Hello and welcome to another video. I thought I'd take a look at some of uh, the work that I've been doing for myself recently and uh, this is my 3D printed Wild West saloon. Um, these are 28mm figures um, that I use in my Wild West wargaming. These are my Pinkerton detectives. Um, I've taken a little bit of a bashing in the box, so uh, we need a little bit of touching up. Anyway, so this is a modular uh, building set, um, two stories, and uh, you can have as many as you want um, in a row to, to increase or decrease the size. So uh, I've been painting this up over the last couple of weeks, I'm quite pleased with uh, the results. Um, I'll just have a look around the side, so um, this sort of triangular section is actually from another set, uh, from a hotel set, um, but it works quite well um, with this set as well, so I just put it in as, for a bit of variety. Um, the original design actually has a corner unit um, which is uh, currently up here. So, um, So this is the original corner, and that will just slot on the end, it would make a rectangular building, but I thought it made, made it a um, nice variety to have that uh, triangular section in. Um, so this is one of the units. Um, I haven't actually painted the inside, I've just given them a quick coat, um, so they, that needs uh, sorted out in due course when I get more time. Um, so we've got the two floors. And the roof. And the uh, the first floor has a nice uh, corridor running along the back which gives access to the front rooms and uh, the rear rooms and I'll show you in a second. So let's just put that away. Um, it has the facility to be magnetised, I haven't done it yet, but um, you probably can't see, but in the top there's little holes in the corners and you can put a little 2mm magnet, 3mm magnet in there and it'll all stay together nicely. So the veranda thing goes all the way around the back. And again, these are just little units that pull out. You could probably magnetise those as well. So I've taken the roofs off, just uh, so you can see the interior. Um, with that, uh, that corridor that goes along the back. Uh, the larger rooms at the back and the smaller rooms at the front. And uh, the windows are see-through, so you can stick your minis in there, and pop the roof back on and you'll still be able to see them. Where are we? Oh, I'll cancel that, you can't see them. <laughs> Unless you're uh, really down low and you get the light from the rear, but uh, anyway, they're in there. And some people play the games with uh, take the roofs off when they've got minis inside and others just remember. So let me just pop him out so that I don't forget him. And pop the roofs back. That's that triangular section at the end. And uh, I think that'll make a really nice um, focal piece for uh, my Wild West town. Um, <clears throat> I tend to do, or well, over the last year or two, I've done more Wild West gaming than I have bolt action. Um, 
But anyway, um, I'm gradually replacing all my um, uh, foam board buildings uh, with 3D printed buildings. And there's uh, uh, stairs up to the first floor. So there we have it. Thanks very much for watching.